Okay. United Arts Studies. And go. Uh, Lisa, are you almost ready? Class is about to start. Barry, don't rush me. You already had your warm-up time. Oh, well, make sure you have time after, but I don't want to be late for the first class. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Uh, hey, you signed us up for this, remember? Well, we had to do something with all of this free time. Hello, and welcome to United Art Studies, bringing you together to learn what you choose. In our unique class platform, this week's subject is decided by you, the students. The most popular artists from your pre-class survey are on the wheel before you. Let's see what we'll study today. Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo, born July 6, 1907, was a Mexican painter specializing in naive folk art. Her works are mostly autobiographical, featuring several self-portraits and Mexican-inspired themes. Her style has been described as surreal, mixing reality with fantasy. Click the subjects you would like to learn more about. The Accident In 1922, at the age of 15, Frida was riding the bus home from school. The bus collided with a streetcar, causing a terrible crash. She was severely injured by a steel handrail impaling her hip, fracturing her spine and pelvis. The intensity of the injury left Frida in a full body cast bedridden for months, scarring her physically and psychologically. However, to pass this dark time, she began to paint. Can you even imagine? I don't want to. Hey. I want to click on the communist affair Oh, come on, I want to see the paintings. Very. Oh, come on, look at this one. Self-portrait dedicated to Dr. Elliser, 1940. This piece is from the iconographic period during the year she separated from her husband, Diego Rivera. Dr. Elliser is the pain management doctor who treated her in San Francisco. Like many of her other works, the colors evoke the festivities of her Mexican heritage while her face remains stoic. Oh, look at Frida, all dressed in flowers. <laughs> in flowers, but also in thorns. Can't you see her sadness? Oh, she's not sad. She's stoic, like a, like a soloist in opera seria. Look at you, tying the beginning of the class with the beginning of all opera. Oh, yes. Frida Kahlo in the noble works of... Monteverdi, Scarlatti, Vivaldi, Handel. Handel indeed, for Frida's story he has already told. How? With Cleopatra and Julio Cesare. Mexico is no Egypt, and Frida did not become a queen. But they both have no suffering, anguish from men and hardships of
Thank you.
I can also envision Frida in a Handel's Egypt, but as Demetrio in Berenice. Honestly, I never heard of it. <laughs> That's okay, it only played four times in Handel's lifetime. But with Demetrio and Frida's pain comes power. How can a certain soul be powerful? By remaining true to one's passions, even Trichepi, bound in chains but still glorious. Hey, 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 hey,
Okay, actually our thoughts complete each other, don't they? I guess so. How's that for United Arts? <laughs> Thank you for joining us today for lesson one from the United Arts Studies. Okay, can I return to my warm up now? Uh, sure, go. Oh wait, uh, who do you want me to submit for next time? Uh, you pick. Okay. I got it.